Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to live home in the community, Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Abel on Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, uh, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently abled. I'm your host, Lauren Seiler. I'm on Tyler. And on this uh, television program today, we are going to be focusing on the fathers of uh, disease and um, uh, and sanitation. Uh, and with that, we would like to say welcome uh, to this edition of April Dinner uh, Um And uh, thank you to our sponsors, Washington County Mental Health and Green Mountain Support Services and many others, including the Association for the Blind of Vermont, um, Higher Ability Vermont, and uh, many, many, many others. Um, let's, so let's get started. Uh, today we are uh, focusing on the fathers of uh, disease and sanitation uh, due to the fact that we are still in COVID and COVID-19. Um, you know, hand washing is extremely important um, in terms of that. And today we will learn about Joseph Lister, who Listerine is named after, as well as Ignis, uh, Phil, uh, Ignis Philip Simowice. And with this um, show, we would like to say special thanks to Dr. Alan Wecker of um, Haifa Israel and uh, the University of Haifa Israel. Um, uh, in the field of computer science, we would like to say uh, special thanks to Dr. Alan Wecker um, uh, for this um, um, idea for this topic. Um, um, Ignis Phyllis, uh, Ignis Philip Simowice is, um, is a Hungarian physician and scientist known for early pioneer of antiseptic procedure described as the, as the savior of mothers and also one of the fathers of um, disease and sanitation, Simon Weiss, spelled S-E-M-M-E-L-W-E-I-S, -E -E uh, discovered the, in, the, the incidence of perpetual fever and child, uh, known as child bed fever. Um, and basically, um, he started one of the disinfection um, uh, parts to the obstetrical, obstetrical cl uh, clinics. And um, 
He started with the chlorinated lime solutions in 1847 while working in Vienna's General Hospital's first exceptional clinic where doctors had three times the mortality rate of midwives and wards. He published a book called uh, of his findings in Etiology, Concept, and Phylaxis and Childbed Fever. Despite the various publications of results where hand washing was reduced, mortality be, uh, that reduced mortality be, below 1%, Simon Weiss' observations conflicted with the established scientific and medical uh, opinions of the time and his ideas that were rejected were, were rejected by the medical community. Um, he no longer uh, was in acceptance of the scientific explanation for his findings and some doctors were offended by the suggestion that they should wash their hands and mocked him for it. In 1865, he increasingly outspoken. He was increasingly outspoken. Simon Weiss um, supposedly suffered from a nervous breakdown and committed. He was committed to an asylum by his colleagues. In an asylum, he was beaten by the guards. He died in 14 days later of a gangrenous wound on the gangrene wound on the right hand that could have been caused by um, by the beating. Simon Weiss' practice earned widespread acceptance only years after his death, when Louis Pasteur confirmed germ theory and Joseph Lister, again, um, Joseph Lister, we will show a picture of... He made they named Listerine after him. Yes. Uh, acting on the French microbiologist research, uh, practice and operated using hygienic methods with great success. Anything you want to say in reference to that? Well, I want to say that, you know, just so it's very safe. Yeah, we need, we need to... And also, according to Florence Nightingale, when Florence Nightingale uh, went in to see how hospitals were operating, she was um, kind of taken back by how dirty, at the time, um, hospitals were. Um, Simon Weiss practice... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both of these things, you know, she also... Okay. So, uh, family and early life of Ignaz Simowice. Again, his name is spelled I-G-N-A-Z, Simowice, S-E-M-M-E-L-W-E-I-S, was born on, on the 1st of July, 1818, in, Taoban, in the Taoban neighborhood of Buda, which is now Budapest, Hungary today. The King, Kingdom of Hungary, Austrian Empire. He was the fifth child out of ten, out of ten, and the prosperous, uh, he w came from a prosperous gr grocer family, Joseph Simon Wise and Therese Muller. Um, the, he was a, of German ancestry. His father was ethnic German uh, uh, stem, he was the stem of um, he Hesenland, which is a German term for he the historic, historical Western Hungary. Born in Kimarston, a uh, kingdom of Hungary, and uh, his mother was um, an ethnic German from Buda, which is part of Budapest. Um, Ignis began studying law at the University of Vienna and in the autumn of 1837, the following year, for reasons that were no longer known, he switched to medicine. He was awarded a Doctor of Medicine degree in 1844 and later falling, uh, falling to obtain 
Failing to obtain an appointment in the Clinic of Internal Medicine, Simon Wise decided to specialize in obstetrics. His teachers included uh, Karl von uh, Rosinski and uh, Joseph Skoda and Ferdinand de Her Herbra. Um, now, going down here, and by the way, you can find this uh, information about Simon Weiss. Again, his name is spelled S-E-M-M-E-L-W-E-I-S. Uh, you can find all this information at www.wikipedia.org. That's W-I-K-I-P-E-D-I-A dot org forward slash Ignis Simowise. Um, what? I said, what country was he born in? Uh, okay, he was Hungarian. So, oh. he was Hungarian, Hungarian, and um, all of that. So, let me get to his early, his, more of his um, life down here. Uh, now, what's really important, um, the response by the medical community Okay, uh, reaction to Simon Weiss. Simon Weiss's views were much more favorably received in in the United Kingdom. On the on the on the uh, continent, which is more often cited than understood, the British constantly regarded Simon Weiss as having supported the theory of contagion uh, or being contagious. A typical example uh, was W. Tyler Smith, who claimed that Simon Weiss made out very conclusively that mygasms derived from the uh, dissecting room um, will excite the diseases. Um, you know, um, basically, um, you know, they talked about hand washing and how important it was and, and so on and so forth. Um, beginning in 1861, Simon Weiss suffered from various nervous complaints. He suffered from, se from uh, severe depression and became absent-minded. He turned every conversation to the topic of childbed fever. After a number of unfavorable foreign reviews in the 1861 book, Simon Weiss last out at his critics in a series <coughs> of open letters that were addressed to various prominent European obstetricians including Spath, Scarzoni, and Seibold. Um, to all obstetricians, they were full of bitterness, uh, deception, and fury, and were highly uh, polemical and uh, very offensive. Um, that at oftentimes denounced his critics, and, and they were... Um, the, he was denounced as, uh, his critics said that uh, he was an irresponsible murderer or, or other words that they used. In mid-1865, his public behavior became exasperating and embarrassing to his associates. He often began to drink um, immoderately and spent progressively more time away from his family, sometimes in, in the company of a prostitute, um, uh, which really has nothing to do with this show, but that was kind of his private life. In 1865, um, other things were wrote about, uh, written by Simon Wise uh, to a mental institution. They were trying to um, commit him to a mental institution. His legacy, uh, Simon Wise advised chlorine washing uh, that was probably more influential than he realized. Many doctors, particularly in Germany, appeared as quite willing to experiment with the practical hand-washing measures that he proposed. 
um, although virtually everyone rejected the basic groundbreaking um, theological innovation. Now, getting back... Um, yes, sir. To Pastor, because we spoke about him in a... Um, in a last show, in a show before this, so... All right. So, Louis Pasteur um, dealt with uh, germ theory and pasteurization. Um... Louis Pasteur um, discovered germ theory in 1861. During his experiments in the 1860s, French chemist Louis Pasteur developed modern germ theory. He proved that food spoiled because of contamination by invisible bacteria, not because of spontaneous generation. Pasteur stipulated that bacteria caused infection and disease. So um, we can go into, we have a couple of minutes. Uh, and go ahead, anything you want to say? Not really. Okay. I can think of it now. All right. So for more information on Louis Pasteur and his work, um, you can go to www.ourstory.j um, &J, which stands for Johnson and Johnson dot com forward slash Pastor Discovers Germ Theory. Again, www. Dot, uh, www forward slash our story j and j dot com for another forward slash Lewis Pastor discovers germ theory. Um, this comes from the Johnson and Johnson website. Uh, timeline world events Lewis Pastor Pastor spelled P A S T E U R discovers germ theory eighteen sixty one. If if um, during his during his uh, let me let me uh, go to the okay during his experiments in the 1860s, French chemist Louis Pasteur developed a modern germ theory. He proved that food spoilage because of contamination and by invisible bacteria did not um, because of. Um, uh, sorry, uh, invisible bacteria, not because of spontaneous generation. Um, Pasteur stipulated that bacteria caused infection and disease. Before Pasteur's discovery, scientists believed that living matter, like bugs and disease, and were born from non-living organisms, like dust or dirt. Through germ theory, was initialized, controversial, and it revolutionized public health. Pasteur's experiments, inspired by Joseph Lister, develop of antiseptic theory. So we ha uh, we can go into Joseph Lister, and we will show a picture of him. Joseph Lister. I got it. <laughs> Joseph Lister, antiseptic medicine. Joseph Lister, British surgeon and medical scientist. Uh, Joseph Lister, in full, Joseph Lister, Baron Lister of Lyme Regis, 1883 to, eight, um, to 1890, uh, 1897. Um, he died young. Well, uh, actually, wait a second. Um, Joseph Lister Bynonet, also born 1827. Um, he was a a Michael a, a, a physicist and 
Michael Sipsis uh, was elected by the Royal Society for his discovery in modern um, in a modern distorting microscope. Um, while both of his parents were took an active part in Lister's education, his father instructed him uh, in natural history and the use of a microscope. Lister received formal schooling uh, for, in two Quaker institutions, which laid far more emphasis on the natural history and science, and, uh, um, and so did other schools. He became interested in comparative anatomy before his 16th birthday and decided upon a surgical career. Um, after taking art and arts course at University College in London, he enrolled in, in, in the uh, Faculty of, <clears throat> of Medical Science. In, eight, in 1848, a brilliant student uh, and graduated with a Bachelor of Medicine and Honors in 1852. Um, he also, three years later, um, got a professorship of surgery in Glasgow, um, you know, which is pretty impressive. So, um, he, his work in antisepsis, uh, Lister began experiments with antisepsis. Most of, most of his early published work had dealt with the micro, the, um, the, sorry, the uh, mechanism of coagulation of the blood and the role of blood vessels in first stages of inflammation. Um, and it was connected to the healing of wounds. Lister had already tried out uh, methods to encourage clean healing and form theories to account for the prevalence of sepsis. Um, okay, but by the way, uh, Simon Weiss died from sepsis, uh, for those that want to know that. Um, so getting to here, uh, this also comes from Encyclopedia Britannica, Joseph Lister and Bastard, uh, and ba <clears throat> ba Baron Lister of Lyme Regis. Uh, he, was called, he was called two things. Um, and uh, for more information on that, you can go to www.britannica.com um, forward slash order of merit. Um, if you want to find out more of that. Um, um, but before we end, uh, we would like to say, please, we are still in um, coronavirus, and um, today's show is basically um, a history of sanitation and um, uh, sanitation and um, uh, taking care of one's cleanliness, which is extremely important. Um, for more information on today's program or any other program in reference to medical or medical information that Abled and On Air provides, you can go to www.orcamedia.net. Uh, that is www. Dot o r c a m e d i a dot net. Uh, we are not doctors. We are not social workers. Uh, we are journalists and advocates that are giving information. So if you uh, or anyone that you know needs information in reference to anything medical on this show, uh, you can go to the website that we had stated. Or if you need more professional help, please go to your doctor and or social worker or anybody that you see in reference to medical information. Um, um, again, thank you to our sponsors, uh, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many others, including the Association of um, 
the Blind for of Vermont and the Division for the Blind in Vermont and also um, Higher Ability Vermont. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Arlene Seiler. See you next time on the next edition of Able Than On Air. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to live home in the community, Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press, media editors, New York Parrot online newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, domestic and international, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able Than On Air has been seen in the following publications, Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England Chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.